and welcome back to episode number 53 of Fortnite Save the World. Check it out, gang. We got ourselves a brand new gun. This thing is called the Bundle Bus, and it is an assault rifle that shoots a powerful burst. Check out all of the barrels on this thing. Look at all those barrels, man. So currently, I've got this thing sitting on a power level 74. It's made of malachite, not quite to the obsidian or shadow shard stage yet, but I'm working on it. I think it's good enough to showcase in today's episode as well as showing off Sarah Hotep in today's episode as well. She is a ninja. She's all about dragon slash, so we're gonna take her out. Currently, I've got her sitting on a power level 92. And I've got all of her, obviously all of her upgrades, uh, I'm sorry, all of her abilities unlocked and she's got quite a lot to do with her Breath of the Dragon, her Dragon Slash. So she's gonna be a lot of fun to use. And in today's episode, we've gotta go in the desert and search for these underground bunkers. And I'll tell you more about that once we get into the zone. But for now, without any further ado, let's jump into it okay so we're in a power level 52 zone in canny valley and like i said we gotta find these underground bunkers a little backstory do you guys remember when we deployed seabot a few episodes ago and then ray sent him off to get repaired because she thought he was broken he had mentioned seeing underground bunkers then off video i actually did a mission where a bunch of periscopes started coming out of the ground you know like people in submarines would use to look out at the surface um, so these things started coming out of the ground, so Ray, Lars, and Sid seem to think that maybe there are shelters underground with people surviving in them uh, to avoid the husk, or maybe it's how past generations avoided the husk. So we gotta find these shelters. Also, we're saving the survivors, so we do have a time limit, 20 minutes. Um, so as we see survivors, we'll try to save them. But these underground shelters, the, they gave us a little hint in the mission description. It said to search around the borders of a 52 plus zone to try to find these bunkers so i'm gonna check in like little houses like that to make sure they don't have false floors around the border as we go so let's just check it out and also i think this gun's gonna do okay in this zone it's not where i want it like i said power level 74 isn't exactly great but we'll see how it gets it done and if we have too many problems we got our dragon slash I've also got this sword that does really well, and of course, I've got my 106 uh, Malachite, nope, nope, Obsidian Typewriter with fire on the barrel now, which is dope. So we'll see how everything goes. We're gonna keep walking around. Really quick though, guys, a lot of you guys join my lobbies when I'm playing, kind of grinding off uh, video, and that's cool. I don't mind that at all. If I did mind it, I would just put it on private. Uh, let's check, let's test out this gun really quick, and I'll, I'll finish what I'll say in a second. Oh my. So this thing's a burst, by the way. Yeah, not bad, actually. Not bad. It's, it's definitely dealing with the little guys super easy. And the Husky Husk are taking a second burst, but not bad. And, like I said, once we get it up uh, to a power level, that'll kind of uh, match these zones a little better. I mean, it's higher than the zone we're in, so that's a good thing. Uh, but once we get it up super high, get it to Obsidian or Shadow Shard, uh, we'll, we'll definitely get a better look at this gun. But for now, this is probably the first flintlock gun I've actually wanted to try, and I'm glad I've upgraded it so far. So good. So back to what I was saying. A lot of you guys join my lobbies, and that's cool. And you try to give me stuff, which is normally, like, I'll accept it. But lately, I haven't been accepting anything, and I don't want anybody to think I'm being a jerk about it. Uh, but the reason is there was, like, some sort of duplicate glitch going on, and a lot of people took, uh, took advantage of it. And so I believe, the rumor is... That Fortnite is uh, suspending accounts for people with duplicate stuff. And so I don't know if what you're giving me is part of duplicates or not. And I can't afford to take that chance, so I'm not going to. So don't take offense to it. Just give me a couple more weeks when all that duplicate stuff is flushed out. People will start breaking the guns that they were given. People will start using the Obsidian and Malachite they were given. Shadow Shard, whatever it is, Silver. And all that stuff will get flushed out. And then if you guys want to give me stuff, I'll be more than happy to accept it. But please, for the love of God, stop chasing me around the map and trying to put stuff at my feet and you see me not pick it up and yet you keep doing it for 20, 30 minutes. It makes me leave the mission because you don't know if I'm trying to record a video or what. So it kind of ruins what I'm trying to do. But again, I appreciate it. I don't want to come off like a jerk, but there you go. All right? Good. Now we're all on the same page. I haven't seen a single survivor yet or anything that could constitute as an underground bunker. But we're going to keep running around. And we're going to try to find it. Now, I've got her paired up with a couple of different ninjas. One of them is giving her extra damage with her swords and melee items. And another one is giving her... Let's check out the Dragon Slash. Why don't we? What is it? R102? Oh, boy. Yeah, that just melted everybody in the way. That was pretty good. Oh, God. Big guy. Big guy. 
Ooh, not bad, gun. You almost took about one burst. So this thing, like, apparently has really high damage. Uh, I don't really look at the stats. I just upgrade and then go for it. But I did show off the gun at the very beginning of the video, so if you want to pause and check out the stats, see what it looks like as a level, a power level 72. Be my guest. Be my guest. Anyways, I feel like I was about to say something, and I don't remember what it was, other than, oh, yeah, I got to pair it up with a couple of ninjas. One gives her extra, there should be a survivor on this uh, RV, uh, gives her extra melee damage, and the other one makes, when she throws her, um, her stars, they go into an arc. So normally she wouldn't have this, okay, well, I think it was a two-way arc. That wasn't very arcing. Hang on, let's try again. Okay, I didn't even, I can't even see him, honestly. Why don't you guys get off the, get off the thing, please? Leave the survivor alone. What did he ever do to you guys? You're gonna get it. Yeah, these guys are pretty, I gotta upgrade this sword eventually. It's been sitting on 82 forever. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try the throwing stars again and see if they actually arc, because I couldn't tell a second ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a three-way arc. So normally she just throws them in a straight line. Oh, I almost fell off the map doing the dragon slash. That would have been bad. That would have been really bad. I think we should take out a gun, though, because this sword's not really cutting it. I'm going to keep using this. Oh, the survivor's... Uh-oh. Survivor's down. Here, let me throw up a hover, buddy. We're going to need that really quick. All right, good, good, good. Are you done? Yeah, there we go. One survivor. So bunkers. Inside of little... I'm thinking inside of houses. I've already found one bunker. Because I want to make sure I can get this all done in one episode for you guys. Uh, or one zone, rather. Um, so I always try to, like, if there's three of something, then I try to get one done off cam and then do the other two on cam. And hopefully we can find two in this zone here. But five minutes have gone by, by the way. We've only rescued one survivor. But here's a little tip for you. These things, collect the antennas, always spawn a survivor. When you do these relay towers or whatever this thing's technically called. So here, we'll just go up here and do this really quick and it'll spawn a survivor. Just for completing this. So that will count towards your rescuing the survivors. Here we go. Put that down. Place it, and then activate it, and then some, for some weird reason, that spawns in a survivor, believe it or not. And we should have one right down here, and this will count towards our six that we need to rescue. So there we go, cool. Now, as you can see from the map here, we are about halfway done with this search in the perimeter here. A little more than halfway done, and we still haven't found a single bunker, so I'm getting a little worried. Hey, let's see how this gun does on the big guy. This will just be fun. Okay, not good. Not good. But you know what does probably good is that dragon slash. No, nope. Did she miss most of that? What was that? Barely even did anything to him. Take some smoke bomb, friend. By the way, he's not really my friend. I just like saying that a lot. How'd we do that time? Yeah, not very good with that, huh? All right. Well, I'm a little disappointed in that. But he's a big, giant mist monster. So we won't hold it against her. All right, cool. So there's a building there. I'm wondering if we'll find a hidden bunker in there. Because it's right on the border of the map. But first, we gotta, we gotta save this survivor. So, with this latest update... Um, so not only did we get this gun... And not only did we get... I think it's week three... Of the challenge, the horde special challenge that you get. And you can... you can If you complete it, you get uh, your choice of one of two legendaries. I think is what happens there. You know, I'm gonna take this out just to be able to save silence. I don't want to lose this survivor, right? Jeez, why is everything so tough in this zone? It's a water house, right? I got a gun with fire on it. He should be getting melted. Oh, wait a minute. Water puts out fire. Yeah, maybe that's not the best thing for a water house. Maybe I need a water gun. No, that doesn't make sense. I don't think you would shoot a water gun at anything, first of all. Let alone a water husk. That's just is stupid. I, my bad. I didn't say that out loud, okay? Everything's fine. All right, how many is that? That's three out of six. All right, yeah, let's go check this out. But in addition to those things I just mentioned with this new update, uh, we also got... A little, a, a little change to the Outlanders. And, oh yeah, yeah, we could definitely go down here. Um, I, th yeah, here we go. Two out of three. Survivors. Someone here was doing some sort of advanced research. Huh. This looks really familiar. All of it. The handwriting. The equations. This is like old school Vinder tech. I mean, if I didn't know better, I'd say this was the work of Doctor Vinderman. Yeah, because it probably is, because he's probably still alive. So, you hear that, guys? A lot of Vendor Tech stuff down here. And Ray used to work for Vendor Tech, so she recognizes all this. This is great. I don't think we have to go all the way down and, like, search around. Uh, but let's take a look anyway. So, I kind of want to show you this. But the Outlanders, I believe, if I read it correctly, and I haven't had a chance to test this yet, but if you guys have used an Outlander since version 5.3... Zero three? Five, five zero three three three. I don't know what it's fine. This version. Um apparently, if you and another player oh look, tanks everywhere. If you and another player have 
an outlander on the map and one of you puts your teddy bear down, the other person cannot put their teddy bear down at the same time. They have to wait for that teddy bear to be gone. If you put down your shock tower, then if somebody else has their shock tower, apparently you can't put it yours down until theirs is up. If I read it correctly. But again, I that sounds ridiculous. Why would they do that? So maybe you can clarify that down in the comment section or that's exactly what's happening. Either way, now you know. And there should be a room over here. Yeah, let's check out in here really quick. Now, we only have 10 more minutes. We still got to find one more bunker and save three more survivors. Yeah, there's nothing much down here. I mean, it would be great to have time to search all this stuff and get all this metal and maybe find some malachite or even some obsidian. Because sometimes when you search stuff, you just pull out malachite and obsidian here in Candy Valley. They're really nice about it. Let's see. Can we get lucky? No. Oh, my goodness. Dragon Slash. How'd that feel, guys? You're all dead. Yeah, it works really good on the normal husk, doesn't it? All right, okay, not really what I had in mind there. Did you just box yourself in? Well, look at that, you did. Good job, good job. Let's just do maybe that, and then, oh, that's not even, okay, never mind, never mind. I've lost my mind today, it's fine. <laughs> nothing's, nothing's going to plan. So we need to find one more bunker, and I'm hoping there's two in this zone, and we need to get two, three more survivors, all within nine minutes time, we're against the clock now, but I think we can do it. Two bursts. I think I missed that three burst, so there you go. Third burst. Takes about four bursts, this looks like, maybe to kill... Oh, she's killing a survivor. No, that's not okay. You can't do that. All right, there we go. He's going to want a stupid med kit or something, aren't you? Thank you. Yep. I was getting worried. I know it's a lot to ask. Yeah, it is a lot to ask. All right, we got to go find his med kit now. Plus, we're still looking for him. One last bunker. And I'm pretty sure... We have just done a full lap around the map, and I don't see any more buildings on the... Did I... Oh no, a survivor just died somewhere. I heard the survivor just died music. That's not good. I didn't realize we had a survivor somewhere nearby. Oopsie. Okay. Well, whatever. Here, I'm gonna go get... I'm gonna find this med kit. Should be right around here, but I think we're about to trigger. Yep. Okay. Another survivor. So this will be number four out of six. And once we get that dude's med kit, that'll be five out of six. So we're getting really close on that, but I'm starting to... Starting to worry that we're not gonna get this last bunker done. Which means we won't get our mission uh, accomplished for the day. Which isn't usual. I might have to go in another zone. Might have to. We might have to finish it up in another zone. Just kill all these guys. They're nothing. I got them. So what do you guys think of this, this rifle? It's interesting. I mean, it's a burst. So that part's not interesting. But it looks different. Way different than anything else we've seen. I think on looks, I'm going to give it like, a, like an 8. I think it looks really cool. Uh, but I think on... Like, I don't know. I just can't fire it fast enough. I feel like I'm just too slow. You know what I mean? And then the reload's a little bit. A little bit. But that's not so bad. All right, so cool. He's been saved. And then somewhere in here should be a med kit. Found it. First try. There we go. Let's go give this back to the other survivor. And then that'll be five of six. One more to get. And at least we'll, at least, at least we'll get all the survivors saved. But that kind of... That's not really why we came here. Not why we came here at all. All right, saved. So, one more bunker. I don't know that... I don't know if you could find a bunker in the middle of the map. Like I said, the clue was, you know, search the perimeter of the map. So, as you can see, there's caves, but there's not going to be a bunker in a cave. I'm pretty sure... Well, it might be, but I'm pretty sure they're trying to tell me to, like, go inside... Like, like how we found the first one. Are you still going to be a survivor on top of this? No. Okay. We might have already done that one. I can't remember. But let's see what else we've got. There's a storm chest available right next to us, but we don't have time for that right now. And that probably wouldn't go very well solo anyways. Okay, this ought to be nice and easy. I got you. Let it rain some bombs. Why not? We've got them. And then we'll do some smoke grenades for these guys. Take that. They're dead. And then we're going to switch over to the typewriter. And we're just going to start melting faces. And there are quite a few to melt, so let's get it. Oh, we got some big boys coming. Let's chop them down. Nice. Oh, wow. These two live through that. Are you serious? Yo, the Dragon Slash is not that good, actually. I thought it was going to be way better. Way better. And I'm... And her, her stupid arcing uh, throwing stars aren't great either, honestly. Oh, God. There we go. Get her. Get her. But with the Dragon Slash, maybe maybe the power's increased depending upon your level. So we just got to get her powered up a little higher. That's all. Probably right? Right? Because everyone was telling me how good she was and how I should uh, definitely use her in a video. But I don't know, man. I'm going to agree. She's probably my best... Ninja. But does that make her a good ninja? Did we already check inside this little thing? Let's see. I feel like we probably already broke the floor in there. 
It looks like it's broken. Yeah, that's definitely desert floor. So yeah, we've done a full lap now. So I guess we're just gonna go. There's a couple buildings straight in front of us. Maybe we didn't check those. Let's go see them. Ooh, ow, I hit my head. Let's see what these buildings are. I feel like I would have checked them though on our first lap, but we're gonna take a double look here. Okay, so this thing right here is a house. You think there's, did we check the house? I don't know, let's go in the house really quick and find out. Yeah, I'd say we check the house. I see the floor is exposed. So there's probably no way down there. Unless, unless, I don't know, should we break every floor in here? Let me check this one. No, okay, yeah, definitely not gonna be there. There's another structure right over here we should check. I'm not rescuing any more survivors. I just simply don't care about that fella that just died. Uh, yeah, definitely nothing there. Um, well, I guess it couldn't hurt to check some of these traditional buildings here and see if they got uh, floors that go underneath them. Who knows, maybe we'll find a bunker around here. But it looks like I might have to go into another zone. Okay, so I had to actually jump into another zone. This is the exact same zone, the exact same mission. So I went ahead and rescued all the survivors. And it looks like, oh my god, looks like we're under attack. Which is fine. Let's dragon slash. Oh, it's a freaking, oh no. It's an encampment. I was not ready for this. It's all right, we got it, we got it. I'm gonna switch over to my gun, I guess. It's probably smart. Yeah, we'll just blow them. We'll just shoot them with the gun here. I think it's probably the best idea. Up in our safe fort. And by the way, safe, not really, because I am definitely getting beaten up by something. What is that, bees? Yeah, the bees are getting through. Just come over here. I might go down, you know. Look at this. They are wrecking my face. Would you please reload? All right, he's dead. You're, you're next. You're next, big guy. In fact, you're going to get the sword just for putting me through that. All right, that should be it, right? Yeah, nice. Well, maybe we'll get a nice surprise. Absolutely not. Some wood. Now, what was I saying? So, we had to go into a different zone. I got all the survivors rescued, and we were down to finding one more bunker on the perimeter of the map. Well, this thing is on the perimeter of the map, and what do you want to guess that there's a bunker in there? It is surrounded by fence with barbed wire, razor wire on the top. Even these blockades made of, out of concrete, there's like a telescope up there, so yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably our very last bunker that we need to find, so let's get rid of the guards. Jeez, I'm telling you, man. I'm too weak. I'm too weak with her. I gotta power her up some more. What are you doing? You gonna break through the... Don't do that, guy. Stop it. Okay. I think there's one more down here somewhere. Maybe not. All right, we're hopping in. She's gotta be a bunker. Yes. Looks like plans. Research team. The servers have been located. We have two weeks to complete the project. Stay focused. Recon and life support teams continue as scheduled. Access to the device is limited to critical personnel only. And the note is signed by Desiree. Oh no. Seabot was right. Told you Seabot wasn't crazy. Who's Desiree? Huh, and what is there. the device? I don't know, but we're learning more and more about the story. So maybe the device is what's going to end up helping us. Uh, defeat the husk at some point, but yeah, we're definitely getting some more story here. We found all the bonkers So once we get extracted from this zone And we're collecting our mission rewards uh, Usually what happens then of course is Ray or somebody else will give us just a little bit more story to go with what we just figured out So I'll see you guys back at home base I'm not gonna make you wait around for another six minutes and we'll figure out a little bit more of the story and check out our mission rewards Commander remember how Seabot said we need to find the true Ray yeah, so that might not have been nonsense. That might have been about Desiree. She was Dr. Venderman's research partner. And she was here, recently, working on something. We need to figure out what it was. All right, so there you go. A little bit more story. So when Seabot says Ray, he's talking about Desiree. So hopefully we'll get to meet her at some point in this story, figure out what she's working on, find out if Dr. Vendertech is still alive, Venderman. Dr. Venderman is still alive and see how to defeat these husks. And now I want to know what the device is. But for completing that main story, we should get 70 epic perk ups. This is for your modifications for your weapons. And that's an actually really good one to get. And for killing some mist monsters, looks like we're going to get some wrenches. So check it out with those epic perk ups that we just received. Uh, I can actually modify my obsidian typewriter. This is the 106 uh, a little bit more. So currently I have a 20% buff on damage. If I want to take that to 25%, I have to give up 95 of my wrenches and I have to give up 225 of those epic perk ups. 
and I have 271 now, so let's take this thing from a 20% buff and damage to a 25% buff and damage, and there we go, just like that. So the next time I want to increase it to 30% buff, I'm actually going to need some of the legendary perk ups, but for everything else currently, the magazine size, the fire, and damage, uh, the 28% increase in fire rate, and the 90% increase in critical damage, all of those would still take epic perk ups. But for now, that's all I've got. So again, if you like the bundle bus, it is in the shop right now. It's only 1,680 gold. So give it a try if you liked what you saw. I Like I said, I'm kind of on the fence about how it performs. I'm gonna have to wait to increase it a little bit more, but I really like the way it looks, the way it sounds and it's not that bad so i'm just gonna keep playing with it and see how it goes so before we go let's take a look at the canny valley mission page our next episode is going to be the very last mission on page four and that's just going to leave page five page six and page seven nine more missions and what's going to happen then is we're going to have to wait for them to update canny valley again there should be 14 quests in this zone so they're going to update it again, give us more storylines. So we're not in a huge hurry to get this done. We're going to need the rest of that storyline. And then I think we're going to have to wait for them to update Twine Peaks before we even go there. So there's still plenty of more to do as we uncover where the Hus came from and how we're going to beat them. Whatever happened to Dr. Vinderman. And of course, lots more weapons to come and lots more new heroes to check out along the way. Don't forget, if you guys did enjoy the video, to drop a like on it. And as always, it's been your boy Lagging24. And I will see you uh, next time.